Orville Dixon takes the spotlight in this week's Spotlight on Champs feature, which zooms in on some of the bright stars expected on show at March's Isser Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletics Championships. However, before we talk with Orville, lace up your Puma spikes as we phone into our Digicel water break. <laughs> I stay fit and healthy by training hard, eating right, getting plenty of rest, and relaxing with friends and family. Water. It's how Johan Blake keeps topped up. Hydrate like a champion. Thanks for staying with us for the TrackAlerts.com Spotlight on Champs as we wrap with Orville Dixon. The Calabar fourth form student made a name for himself at Champs 2011 as a class 3 athlete, winning the 800 and the 1500 meters double. He speaks a little about himself, including how he got involved in track and field. My hobbies are is, is running, favorite colors is, um, is purple, I love Calabar, my favorite color is purple. No people at Calabar don't know that. I'm from Water. My neighbor was Shelly and Fraser Price. Um, I was introduced by track and field by, by my football coach. In sixth grade, I was playing football and I used to play left wing and every time I ran up the ball, um, he introduced me to the track and field coach and that's how I started the track and field. Orville, who gave up football for track and field, thinks this sport can bring him not just fame and fortune, but certainly it has the real possibility of laying a solid foundation for him in the future. And I feel it can better your future because look at Bolton, Asaf and Shelly and Fraser. Track and field make them be where they are now. Orville, who says Asafa Powell is his role model, finds time for social activities. It's a, it's a police group, a police function where police um, help to guide you and write you. And it helps you because some of the boys in my community, they like. He listed his biggest accomplishment as? My biggest, um, that, 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 that was in class 3 in the past when I won the double 850. But while saying how he felt, he was quick to point out. Well, it was wonderful, you know, although I was a favorite, um, it was a good experience. I'm, I'm in class two, no last year too, and I want to do the same. But what does success like this mean for him? Success means a lot to me, sir, because um, I go through a lot of success in, 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 in the past, and, it's, and it, it's wonderful. To achieve success doesn't come easy for anyone, especially student athletes. But for athletes such as Orville, you look at these long days, most of which are spent at school and practice as... It's fun, because I do it every day, I get used to it. Wake up in the morning, um, 5 o'clock, get to school, and doing work in class and training. After training, I go home, bathe and eat and study and then go to bed and it's like a cycle. Despite the long days, Orville says his only challenge is getting it right on the track. Well, the challenge is um, from, the, from the starting, I, 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 I try to do my best from the start. So when I get to the, um, the top, I don't really have any challenge. And what motivates him to overcome this challenge? I follow my school motto, that must be the highest. Um, that means you're, you're going to do, do, do everything by the best of your, um, your ability. And my mother and my father pushed me all the way. Now looking ahead to Champs 2013. Well, um, Champs 2013 um, is good. I'm, 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 a, I'm in good form. I just run a, a 1500. I follow my coach race plan. First lap, six, um, 6 to 5 and then come back. 6 to 5 and then I will try and maintain that sir. So I'm um, a champs, I think it would be easy if I um, follow my, um, my coach race plan from now. His goals for champs 2013? Yes, to win the double, 8 and 15. Is there anyone to stop him? Well, I don't really see any rivals yet because um, this was this first champion for me, this first champion I'm going. I don't really see anybody that I run last year. I run in yet, so I don't really can answer the question. The outstanding coach of Calabar, Michael Clark, speaks about the personality of Orville Dixon. Orville Dixon represents the typical personality of a Michael Dixon's runner, quiet, unassuming. Um, but generally off the track, he's just like that. But on, on the track, he's a very fierce competitor, um, very aggressive. Um, have, have, he has high ambition and he's very talented. So, can Calabar win champs? Probably Calabar can win champs. Um, guys, we have the same boys in. Most of the same boys in the same class. That's our Spotlight on Champs feature for this week. Stay with us on TrackAlerts.com. Next week, we'll speak to 
another sporting personality in the build-up to Champs 2014. Oh.